Hi, welcome to nothing special in particular. Um, I feel like I haven't made a video in a while and I want to make one. I don't really necessarily have anything to say. I don't really feel like talking much, so this probably won't even get uploaded or considered. But, oh well. Um, so, hey. Um, I'm just going to put on makeup. I have really no reason at all to put on makeup. Last night, I did a comedy show. I was on a little show. I only did seven minutes. Uh, because there was like eight of us total. I think eight people total went up. So, um, it was pretty cool. I had a fun time. I think I did pretty well, too. Um, I think everyone did good. It was a good night. If I say so myself. But yeah, it was uh, it was fun. I had a fun time. And some friend, uh, friend showed up. And my mom came out. She's never seen me do comedy, so that was fun. Um, it's kind of weird doing comedy in front of your mom because, like, well, it depends on your joke content. So for me, all my jokes, literally 100% of my jokes last night were related to either suicide or porn. So... It's just kind of weird. It's not really a topic you chat with with your mom, so it's kind of weird seeing, seeing that stuff in, like, in front of her. But she, she liked it though. It was fun. Not that I think she would disown me, but it just feels, it feels uh, slightly, feels kind of weird. It was nice performing comedy in front of like an actual audience. I've pretty much never done that. Um, Cause like open mics is like, yeah, there's people there. But they're mostly other comics, so kind of a, um, can be a tough crowd, uh, usually somewhat of a tough crowd, I don't know, and then also like no one really wants to listen, like, or not that they don't want to listen to you, it's just like, if you go, if you're a comic and you go to open mics all the time, like, you're not going to pay your full 100% attention to everyone who goes up, it's just like, it's just exhausting. Like, you, there's a good chance that if you go up at an open mic, there's going to be a lot of people just not listening to you, listening to you at all. Um, which is perfectly fine, and that's just that's just how it is. Uh, but it was nice to not have that for once to have people listening with their full attention and people who've never seen me before and who've never heard my jokes before. Um, and so it wasn't like redundant. I I do a lot of the same. The jokes. I don't have a lot of jokes, really. I mean, you can't really even see what I'm doing here. Maybe I'll put the, the mirror... I don't know. That makes it worse. Or does it? No, it doesn't. I can just use this mirror. Cool. Um, now you can see me. Yeah. And don't make fun of my acne, because I have a lot of it. And I wash my face all the time, <laughs> not excessively either. And I drink almost a gallon of water every single day. I drink like at the least a half gallon most days. Actually, I'd say I, I average probably like three fourths of a gallon every single day. So I drink my water, I eat my vegetables, I don't eat a ton of sugar. I change my pillowcase all the time. I don't use any crazy chemicals. There's no reason that I should have acne. <laughs> Whatever. This is normally how I do it. I just, I only use eyeshadow on my eyes. And then I use like a gel on my eyebrows and brush them up. And I like that. I like the way that looks. Um, but... Mascara looks good. I just don't like wearing it. I don't know why. Something about it. Even though it looks kind of stupid when I don't wear it. I'm gonna just wear it today for some reason. I don't know. Fuck it, right? Who cares? Go crazy today. Today's your day. Today's your day, girl. If you're watching this, today's your fucking day. Just claim that shit. <laughs> Today, 
is the fucking day. Yeah, I'm studying nutrition and kind of really behind, but I've been catching up. I've been catching up lately, which is awesome. Um, I kind of got like rekindled. I rekindled my passion a little bit for uh, nutrition through watching. Um, and I highly, highly, highly recommend listening to this guy. His name is Robert H. Lustig. And if you look him up on YouTube, he'll come up. And he has excellent uh, talks and videos and lectures um, on mostly sugar. He mostly focuses on sugar consumption um, and like metabolic syndrome. Uh, and it's, it's actually really fascinating and he makes something that's very complicated. He explains it in a way, sorry, I'm literally dragging in so much laundry right now. He explains it in a way that makes it really digestible and really, um, like, easy for anyone to listen to. Like, even if you're not studying nutrition, um, I think it's, his talks are fairly easy to follow and they just, like, make sense. Um... To me at least I don't know um, but I really 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 recommend looking him up if you even have a slight interest in nutrition he's an excellent speaker and I, I think he's worth listening to he's he's got a uh, really great um, lectures he has one called sugar fuck what's it called uh, he it's got like 13 million views, actually, this one video in particular. Oh, it's called The Bitter Truth. It's called Sugar, The Bitter Truth. Um, and he just talks about sugar, and in a way that's very forgiving. What I like about him is he has, in my opinion, a very refreshing take on things, because you hear a lot of the time like people basically blaming people who are obese. And being like, well, if you weren't fat, you wouldn't have this disease. Um, which has some truth in it. Like, yes, when you're overweight, you are at more risk for uh, certain diseases like diabetes and, um, I don't even know, fucking heart issues, right? But generally, like, it's like, but skinny people get diabetes as well. And he's basically saying, so how, so how do we explain that? Obviously, being overweight does not cause diabetes. It's obviously caused by something that we're exposed to, because everybody's getting it. Um, and he just talks about sugar, pretty much, and how dangerous it is, and how we consume, um, well, added sugar, specifically, and how we consume just an insane amount. Like, as a country, we consume a bonkers amount of sugar um, and it's it's really bad and it's fucking hurting us and yeah and he ta he explores that and he's very forg he's he basically goes into also saying like how um, pretty much like 10 companies generally in the USA own most of the food that we see on the shelves at stores. So a lot of brands like um, Kellogg, I think Kraft was one, I don't know, whatever. There's so, most brands that you see in the store are actually owned by one of ten companies in the USA. I don't know about other countries. Um, I thought that was crazy. I mean, it's really not crazy considering, considering like life and how it works currently, but, um, I, uh, I was kind of surprised to hear that. Only ten. Only ten. So a lot of those brands you see at the store, and they might not say Kellogg's on them, but they are actually owned by Kellogg's, because Kellogg's owned this. Kellogg's owns this other company, and then it just, it just goes, it just goes down the line. That company owns another company, etc., etc., and then it all goes back to fucking Kellogg's. I don't even know if Kellogg's is one, but I'm saying. I don't know. I don't really have anything to say, but um, 
read up on, uh, definitely look up Robert H. Lustig. That's the vibe I've been on. I've been watching his videos a lot. I've just been listening to them in the car, listening to them at work, um, before I go to bed. And it's super fascinating, even if nutrition is not really your thing. It's very fascinating uh, information. And he's a great speaker. The way he presents it keeps me focused. And I have pretty bad ADHD, and he's um, he keeps me uh, he keeps my my attention on on the video and what he's saying. Somehow, I don't know how, but so give that a look, see. Uh, and, sorry this was like the most boring video ever, I don't know, but that's just, today's, uh, not, I'm a little hungover, I'll be honest. I haven't been drinking lately, and I allowed myself some drinks, why, uh, because I did comedy. <laughs> so, I obviously deserve poison, because I did a good thing. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's it. So, toodaloo, and I'll update you next time. See you soon.